Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when webcam or camera is not working after updating Windows 10 on your computer. So if you're facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to go ahead and restart your computer. So go to the start menu, then click on the power icon, then click on restart. Most of the time, just restarting the computer takes care of the problem. Now after the restart, still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and update camera driver from device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now select your camera. So here you can see camera. So you might see cameras or you might see imaging device. So whatever you see, go ahead and select your camera and then make a right click on your camera and then click on update driver so once you select it make a right click then click on update driver then click on search automatically for drivers and then install the camera driver now once that is done once the installation is done restart your computer and then try to check your camera now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and disable and enable the camera so Make a right click on the start menu once again and open device manager once again. And then select your camera and then make a right click and then click on di disable device then click on yes. And then again select the camera and then make a right click then click on enable device. So try to disable and enable camera and that should go ahead and fix the problem. Still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and update camera driver from your system manufacturer website. So whatever is your computer brand, so if you have Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo website. So whatever brand you have, go to their website. So for example, I'll, I'm showing for Dell computer. So just, uh, I'm just giving you an idea how to go ahead and download the camera driver online. So go to your brand website and then enter the service tag number of your computer or select your model number so whatever whatever is your computer brand you know model number go ahead and select your model number and this is just an example just to give you an idea how to go ahead and install the driver from manufacturer website Now find your camera driver, then click on download and go ahead and download and install this camera driver on your computer. Then restart your computer and then try to check your camera. Now still you're facing the problem, then you can go ahead and uninstall webcam driver and then restart your computer. So open device manager once again, go to the start menu and then make a right click, then click on device manager and then find your camera. So here you will see cameras or you might see imaging device so just select your camera then make a right click then click on uninstall device then click on uninstall now once the uninstall is done go ahead and restart your computer so click on the power icon then click on restart and when the system will restart the windows will automatically you know install the default driver for your camera and then you can go ahead and check your camera the next step is to update the bios so again go to your system manufacturer website so if you have Lenovo, Asus or HP computer, so go to their website, whatever brand you have, then select your model number and then select the BIOS and go ahead and update the BIOS. Click on download. And this is just an example I'm showing for Dell computer. So just run this exe file. Now before you update the BIOS on your laptop, just make sure that the charger is connected, the, the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer and the battery is more than 10%. And disconnect all the external devices if you have any external devices such as usb flash drive hard drive printer usb printer cable so disconnect all the external devices you can keep the mouse and keyboard and monitor plugged in and go ahead and download the bios and run this exe file and then follow the on-screen instruction to update the bios now during the bios update the system will restart so do not turn off the power 
so just make sure that um, you do not unplug the charger or turn off the power supply because that may damage the computer now after the BIOS update you can go ahead and check your camera so that should go ahead and fix the problem if nothing works uh, then follow the move on to the next step that is perform system restore to perform re system restore just go ahead and type in system restore in windows search and then click on create a restore point now click on system restore and here click on next and here you you will be able to see different restore point in my case i have only one restore point in your case you might find multiple restore point so you have to go ahead and select the restore point on which date you were not facing the problem so suppose your camera stopped working today so you have to go ahead and select the date for yesterday or maybe be day before yesterday so select the date on which date and this you were not facing any problem with the camera and then click on next and then click on finish and once the restore is done you know go ahead and check your camera now still you're facing the problem then go ahead and update your windows 10 using media creation tool so open any browser and just type in media creation tool in google search and then go to microsoft website then click on download tool now now once you click on download tool now uh, exe file will download you have to run this exe file and then you will see this tool on your screen agree to the terms and condition then click on option which says upgrade this pc now then click on next and it will start downloading the windows 10 file along with the latest update now before the installation by default you know to keep your personal apps and data will be checked so when that option is checked which says keep your personal files and app so by default that option will be checked so you you will not lose any data on the computer so once uh, uh, the upgrade is done you can go ahead and uh, log into your computer and then you can go ahead and check your camera now if nothing works then you can go ahead and reset your computer now once you uh, reset your computer all the data on the computer will be lost so before you perform a reset just make sure that you back up all your data on the computer because uh, after the reset you will not find any data all the data will be gone so create a backup and then go for reset so open set uh, click on start menu then click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on recovery and then click on get started which says reset this pc now here are two options which says keep my files it tells you removes apps and settings but keeps your personal file so it will remove all the application and settings but it will keep your personal file the second option is remove everything in that case you will lose everything so you know to be on safer side just make sure that you create a backup even if you select the first option because you never know you might lose the data so go ahead and create a backup then uh, select the option which you want and then proceed with the step now after the reset go ahead and set up your computer and then check your camera so one of the steps should definitely help you to get your camera working if there is no hardware failure with the camera so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel